Hi everyone! In this short R tutorial, I explain how you can merge two data frames together with an outer join, inner join, left and right join. For that, I just created here two simple data frames. And when we look at the first data set, we see we have here the first six IDs. And when we look at the second data set, we have here from ID 4 until ID 9. If we want to make an outer join, which means we want to merge these two data frames, then we can use the merge function. We need to define the first data set, which is the X argument within the merge function. The second data set, which is the Y argument of the merge function and then we need to specify by which column we want to merge it. So I specified here ID. So we want to merge these IDs from 1 to 9 and as you already see here we have 4, 5, 6 in both data frames. When we run that we get this kind of table. So we have all the information from the first table and we have the information from the second table and here we take all the information we got. So here for group Y, which is the second data frame, we have no information for ID 1, 2 and 3 as you can see here because we start at 4. And for group X, which is the first data frame, we don't have information on 7, 8 and 9 and as you can see here, the first data frame ends with the ID 6. When we want to make an inner join, which means we only want to get the part which is within both data frames, we can run the same merge function with the data set 1, data set 2, also we merge it by the ID. And here the all argument is false because we don't want to merge all of them together, we only want an inner join. And this means now we only have 4, 5 and 6 within this new data frame here because we only want to get the information on the IDs which are in both data frames. And then we also have the left and the right join and for that we use the same function. We need to define all x equals true which means that we want to get all the data from the first table plus the additional data from table 2. And when we run that and look at the data we have all the data from the first group and also only half of the data from the second group. And when we make a right join, we just need to define all dot y equals true. So we do exactly the opposite. So now we use all the data from the second table and we add the data of table one. I hope with this short explanation I helped. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.